Hello, hello. It's Gail with Broken Hearts Ministry. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming in. Thank you to you guys who watch this in the replay. And I wanted to say hi, Mom, because she listens to all of these lives uh, trying to support the ministry. So, yeah. So I did not make it to Jamie's live yesterday, so I wanted to do a live to kind of make up for the time I lost. And, um, you know, I have the paid version of StreamYard. I don't know how much longer, but I am going to pay for another month, I decided. And I thought about it this morning. I think on Friday night after Jan's live, Simply Jan Homestead, I think I'm going to do like a pajama party with some of the girls on here. I'm going to send out invites. So if you listen to the replay on this, um, Friday, this Friday night, I'm going to try to do a pajama party for the girls and we'll just sit around and gab about whatever. And then you guys who want to can just come by and, uh, come by and check it out. See what we're chitter chatting about. You never know. So it's kind of cold this morning. It's like 36 degrees. So I said, I'm going to do a live and let it kind of warm up outside before I could do anything. Hello, Kevin with Tuber Chat. Hello, Troy Sutton. Welcome in. <laughs> um, so Tuber Chat, my, uh, my friend, uh, my Alabama farm life. She also has another channel called literature and more with Kathleen. She just started talking about rumble. So I downloaded it. I'm going to have my first video coming out today, uh, on, uh, well, it's like a short uh, over on rumble. So I may try my hand at that for a little while, see how it goes. Uh, take me a little while to figure it out, but I think she's going to do some, some lives talking about how to use rumble. So hopefully, uh, I can ask her questions about stuff. So supposedly on rumble, they're more lenient on the kinds of stuff that you say. Um, you're, you're more open to talk about politics kind of stuff and controversial subjects and also religion over there. So, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of openness to it. So hopefully, hopefully it'll work out. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yesterday I bought some dark purple opal basil. It's like purple basil. And I'm hoping to plant that out today, but I'm going to wait till it warms up a little bit outside before I go and mess with that. I appreciate you guys coming in and giving me the thumbs up and sharing me out. It's much, much appreciated. And if you have a community tab, if you would share this out in your community tab to get a few more people in here, that would be awesome. I am on 14. Let me look real quick so I can give an accurate answer. I'm on 14, 28 public watch hours. So I'm almost at the halfway point. So I paid for StreamYard for a couple of months so that my friends could come up and go live with me and still get be getting time their cell. I figured it would motivate me if I had some people to talk to. Rumble is another video platform and that took off after Freedom Convoy content was striked or removed from YouTube the claim to allow more free speech. Yes. Yes, I'm going to pull that comment up so people can uh, read that later on when they watch the replay. So it's really cool because they're going to go one extreme or the other, you know, on that. Um, so it's really cool that they're going to let people talk more freely. So a group of us homesteaders are going to uh, not move over to Rumble, but we're going to dip our toe in the water and try out the rumble for a little while. So there's a group of us that are going to go over there and do that. So, and I am one of them and I'm, I just got to get the time to sit down and mess with it, figure it out. And, um, supposedly you can get paid, uh, maybe right away on rumble or pretty soon after you don't have to go through these, 
so many followers and so many uh, watch hours. Supposedly, you don't have to do that over there, so it'll be really cool. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little work on that. And Kathleen's the one. I was just talking about you, Kathleen. Um, if you guys would share this out on your community tab to get a few more people in here, that would be helpful. Thank you. Um, yeah, I was just talking about how I'm going to start trying to do a little bit of stuff for Rumble. Just check it out. And, um, and I got another person on board for Rumble. Um, Luann with Blackberry Rock Homestead and Luann's Kitchen. My recommendation to anyone starting today would be cross post on as many platforms as you have for they all monetize now. Very cool. Very, very cool. So we'll see. We'll see how this works out. I, I literally have like a, a three, <laughs> three or four followers so far. So um, um, I'll be working on that, trying to follow back the people that uh, I just looked for. I was having trouble finding homesteading people. So I actually just followed a few people that do cooking because I do do some cooking on my other channel and I'll probably be just following it as Gail Southern living because this channel pretty much is just the ministry and I don't want to overextend myself. So I'll probably just have Gail Southern living over there and we'll see what happens. But I downloaded a short yesterday. Hello, Chris, Christy Betts. How are you? So yesterday, so yesterday I made the video showing all the donations received and Christy Betts made a comment on that video and um, it was a good comment. And um, I was in the middle of trying to split everything so that um, mom and I would both have some. Hi. Good morning. I didn't know if you'd be able to make it or not. I thought I'm just going to send this out to like, four to six people and just see if anybody will come up and talk with me. I missed yesterday, but I decided today that I wasn't going to let anybody um, ruin my day, even though they may be trying. So I'm just going to move on, move on along with it. I, I woke up this morning thinking about maybe doing a pajama. Good, nice time. Just watched your video. Great donations. Oh, I know. Yeah, my brother donated two hundred dollars. That bought all that Amazon stuff. So that stock pretty much stocks us up. So the toothbrushes, they come in these long things like this. There's ten. So I was splitting them up, and they come in their own little case here. So I have to yeah, kind of break yeah, those up. Awesome. I'll break those up Let's and put see. those in my basket. But we are literally overflowing right now i mean the 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 food is all stocked up because um cynthia and more cynthia's crafts and more donated hundreds so i used most of that for food and then my brother donated 200 so i used that for that big amazon order so we are pretty stocked up and then i got the anonymous breaking bit, i'm breaking up a little bit uh -oh. unless it's my video i'm not sure Oh, darn. I know. Hi, good morning. Yeah. Kathleen, how are you? And the tuber chat. You got some great people up here this morning, um, Gail. I do. I do. And I, I came in asking for people to share on their community tab right away. And tuber chat shared it on Reddit. And I don't know where else, but he made awesome. a comment. He tried good again. Yep. So I was just trying to make up for some of the time I lost yesterday. And I was like, I'm just not going to let people bother me. Just keep going, going on with my things I want to do. I looked yesterday at Walmart for one of those trifle bowls because I was watching Milk and Honey Heritage Farm make that trifle. And I really, really wanted to make one. Um, and I can't, I don't have a, I don't have a trifle bowl and my Walmart doesn't have any. And I could order one on Amazon, but if you if I ordered just that, it would charge me for shipping. So I'm just sitting here trying to decide if I want to do that or not. Because <laughs> I love ordering enough to where you, you know, don't, you don't have to. You don't need it. a trifle. Yeah, you don't need to order. 
or you don't need to have a trifle bowl to make a trifle. It just no. the way that it looks. If you do, you have a deep bowl by chance, a glass bowl that's fairly deep. Uh, I mean, I, I use that one. Yeah, it, I mean, I really did want it to look pretty, though. <laughs> I mean, you know, I know I, they're hard. If you have a Hobby Lobby, I will. They carry them. Yeah, I know, but Hobby Lobby does carry them, and I got some last year when I was looking for them. They're smaller ones, but they're plastic, and they're just they work. But then I found one at a yard sale, a really nice one for three dollars. So I bought it. Yeah. They have one for I think it's about fifteen dollars on Amazon, but it'll end up costing more because it's going to charge six ninety nine shipping. Yeah. And I, I wish I had added it to my other um, Amazon order that I had just placed somewhere, you know. But because I just ordered. Um, for my husband's birthday, I decided to get him a car model. He's never done one before. And um, I guess he had done airplane models when he was younger. Um, but I didn't know that. But anyway, I was just trying to get something new. So he ordered. The, I didn't even yeah. think about buying. I didn't even think about buying the paint. But he said he was missing brown. And, or, and I didn't think about buying glue. So he ordered that stuff and I was like, and then he said he needed brown paint. And I'm like, okay, let me hey, order You know this what I'm going to do? I'm going to run. I'm streaming. Oh, are you streaming? I'm streaming my TV. So I'm going to see if that helps the internet connection. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. So anyway, I ended up ordering the brown paint so my hubby could paint the inside of his uh, car with it. I think he was painting the seats and the dashboard. Yeah, that's what I did. Uh, I had a really hard time with with uh, a family member yesterday, and I, I I tried to listen to my Christ, Christian music and build myself up. And yesterday, I just kind of stayed that way all day. But this morning, I woke up and I said, you know what? I'm not going to let it get to me anymore. And I just started playing my Christian music. So I played uh, I played Waymaker, which is one of my favorite Christian songs, and I also played Good Good Father, and I literally listened to that right before I came on, and I went ahead and listed Good Good Father the song in the description box of this video. So if you need a little pick me up, just hit the description box of this live, and I went ahead and put that out for everybody to listen to. So. Um, also, I uh, listened recently to the Vineyard Chick singing El Shaddai, and I have had that in my head ever since I heard them sing it. It was so good. I remember that they used to play that in my church a long time ago. But yeah, today I woke up and I was like, I'm not That's letting awesome. anybody mess with me. Today. I'm not going to let anyone mess with me today. I listened to uh, Literature and More with Kathleen. Uh, read the Bible this morning, and uh, I think I'm going to try to do my Bible promises, but yesterday I was really struggling, and today I woke up and I said, you know what, nobody's going to mess with you. It's, you know, I, I feel like the devil tests you with these things to see what are you going to do when you get stressed from your family or when your pet's sick? What are you going to do? Are you going to, are you going to come to me with it? Or are you going to let yourself get down and do and say stupid things that you don't want to, you know? So I decided yeah. today. It's one just of those trials, it. I think, too. Yeah, yeah to just to flip it over, flip it over, and just today is a new day. That person right now cannot talk to me. You know, they cannot further upset me. And, and any upsetting would be in my own brain. So I have to just shut it off and listen to my music and do my Bible study and, and things like that and just build myself up from that because that person's trying to drag me down. And I really feel as if I'm doing right in the situation, even though that person doesn't think so. And so I'm just going to just going to go on with it. So anyway, I'm considering doing a pajama party on Friday night after Jan's live. Like a little, um, you know, hangout, girls only pajama party. Yeah. Right after Jan finishes her live. And I don't know if gotcha. she's going to go for an hour or if she's going to go for two hours. 
I have no idea, but literally I'll have it set up for, I'll probably set it up for 8 p.m. And then if she only does an hour, I'll go on early and then other, you know, I'll set it up for two hours because I, I don't know what she does. She does it different. So if her husband with her, she does just an hour. If her husband's not with her, she usually does two hours. So it just depends on that. So I'm thinking about doing that possibly. I think it's my internet. I'm having issues with my internet. I think it's my internet causing me glitches. Oh, well, we'll say prayers for you, Christy. Oh, that's got to be concerning. Not sure. God is miraculous, though. Uh, there's a baby. There's a lady at church. She's really, really tiny, and she had a baby, and the baby was having problems. She was in the hospital for a long time, and he's putting on weight. And he's finally out of his preemie clothes, so that's a blessing. So God can do powerful things. So say a prayer and just put your eyes on him right now and and uh, just look to him in your time of sorrow, like me and my family member who's trying to upset me. I just have to keep my eyes on him and focus off of that situation. It actually is a little bit breezy outside today, so I thought I'm going to um, I'm going to just focus on good things. I'm hoping to get my basil planted today. I got a package yesterday. I'm going to do a friend mail on it, but I got a package yesterday from Heavenly Hills Homestead. It doesn't even say his channel name on here, but it is literally a whole package worth of stuff. He sent me some mammoth sunflowers and these are extra large mammoth, literally 211 across. So these are, and it's funny because they don't look any bigger than the sunflower seeds you would eat in the store. Usually mammoth sunflower seeds are bigger. But yeah, he sent me some mammoth sunflower seeds. And hello, Joe with Grow Big TV. He sent me some banana squash. I've never heard of banana squash, but there's four of these. So I've got to figure out somewhere to plant these. I want to plant, I want to make the friend mail video and then I'm going to plant these. But this was about, this was the pick, pick me up of yesterday um, was getting these seeds. Let's see. Delice de table rare French melon. So some, some rare looking melons. Hmm. Another big sunflower seed. So I'm going to have to make some more planting spaces. And I decided instead of growing my MI Gardener giant pumpkin seeds I ordered, I'm just going to try to uh, grow these that he sent me. Um, Cook, Ginger, and Bullock. I don't know. It has all this. It's just two giant pumpkin seeds. Now, this guy who sent me the seeds, this man, uh, Ryan from Heavenly Hills Homestead, he grows extra large, huge pumpkins. This is a cooked uh, cook pumpkin seed. There's four of these in there. So he knew I wanted to try to grow some giant pumpkin seeds. He also sent me Bishop's Crown Peppers. There's maybe 10 seeds in there uh, and some corn West Virginia state record tall ear corn cook. So some corn seeds that are the extra large. I don't know where I'm going to put any of this stuff, but I'll look a uh, yellow scotch bonnet. Uh, I did a live on his channel. Also sent me some West Virginia state record chili peppers. Uh, sweet chocolate peppers. West Virginia state record eggplant. Ooh, eggplant. 
awesome. I actually wanted to try eggplant. Um, so I'm going to have to find somewhere to, actually, I know where I can put the eggplant. I've got an idea. Um, let's see. Mm, Sarga Zentes pepper. I don't know. Some kind of pepper. Peach sugar rush. I think that's a pepper because it looks like the rest of them. It looks like a pepper seed. Yeah. Isn't that sweet of him, Simeon? Giant Domingo tomatoes. Mm. Ash Company pimento pepper. West Virginia state record bell pepper. Giant tomatoes, cooks, and these are little, literally like three pound, 3.3 pound possibility. Uh, white fantasy pepper. Hey, Joe, if you hear of any of these peppers that you want to try, uh, let me know. I could send you a little bit of them, you know. Send you half or something. Sorry, no, I'm that. calling out my, I'm calling out my seeds that I got from Heavenly Hills. He sent me some loofah seeds, more giant pumpkin seeds, more giant awesome. pumpkin seeds, more giant pumpkin seeds. I decided what I'm going to do is instead of planting my three from in my gardener, I'm going to put those up and plant these that he sent me, and then bushel gourds. Okay. And West Virginia state record long gourd. So I'll have to put some of that in the wild garden back there. Uh, nice. more, more pumpkin seeds. I, I, I would have to have a whole field to plant all these. West Virginia state record field pumpkin, 89 pound pumpkin. Wow. So I have all of these. All of these seeds I got yesterday. So I went over to the post office to um, very nice to pick up to mail off my um, IBG seed swap for Indiana Backyard Gardener. I went to go mail that yesterday and I checked my post office and there was this and I was like, oh my God. I could, I didn't know I didn't know his name was Ryan, but I had a, I remembered him saying something about sending me seeds. So I went over and looked at his about page and it said West Virginia. So I was like, okay, that's totally got to be him because he's the only one that said he was going to send me seeds and garden state gardeners names all over stuff. So I knew yeah. it wasn't him. So I knew it had to be somebody else, but yeah, I got right. this. So that was so sweet of him to do. Um, he, yeah. he interviewed me about a month ago. Where is that? Um, you're in. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, very cool. So nice. I, I, Joe, I've I, never grown sugar rush. I don't know where I'm going to put this stuff, but I'm going to, I'm going to do my darndest to try to get it in there. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to save my, in my gardener giant pumpkin seeds maybe for next yeah. year or something. And just try to grow some of those. So I got to make some more some more areas for pumpkins. Anyway, oh, we worked on our, we worked on the scarecrow yesterday. Excited uh, using. Uh, we worked on it over the weekend, and yesterday um, we got hubby's pants and and flannel shirt. And I went to Walmart and got a red um, bandana for around his neck. So now we just need to get the uh, hat. And I thought what I would do is take the rap, rapia, rapia and glue it onto the inside of the hat for his hair and then glue his hair, his hat on the volleyball head. <coughs> so we're still working on it. But so far it looks pretty cute. Awesome. It does. You've been doing a good job with that. Yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> Am I glitchy at all when I talk? What's that? I was just wondering. I'm just wondering if I'm glitchy or hesitating when I'm on here because I don't want to interrupt with the video stream if that's the case. 
if somebody could tell me in the comments if I'm glitchy or. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know. I, I'm not noticing it at all. You sound fine is what Kathleen said. Thank you, um, Kathleen. So, yeah, if there's someone, uh, okay. if there's a moderator out in the chat, if you would um, share out Heavenly Hills Homestead's um, channel link so you guys can go, go over and check out his channel. I've heard of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, hello, McKay. Welcome in. Hey, McKay. How are you? After, uh, after the inner, well, no. I think he McKay may be a new I think Manet Pay is a new friend. Oh, uh, she's been following me over on my other channel, Gail Southern Living. I believe maybe she came over from Simply Jan Homestead, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not completely sure. Okay. Yeah, she's she's yeah, I met her time yesterday. She's the one that I announced um or I did a shout out on uh Wednesday. She's one of the ones I did a shout Last out. Last week. And, we will week. shout her out again this week. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank so you, Joe. I ask. Uh, I've, I've never grown pepper rush. Rush. Shoot. Rush My canner just rush. beeped at me. I need to go check it really quick. Okay. Right. Do you need anything? No. Um, so I asked him after the interview why he decided to interview me. And he said, um, he said that he knew that I had moral character and that I wouldn't say anything weird <laughs> on the interview. He trusted me to, you know, to do the inner, you know, to, to not, you know, cuss or, or do whatever in the interview. So that's why he interviewed me. So that was really nice. I was just curious. I was like, wonder where, where he came up with my name at. So. Thank you for coming in, Christy Betts. Yeah, I got to go feed my chickens, but I'm kind of waiting for it to get a little bit warmer outside. So <laughs> I got to make my friend mill video before I can start. Hey, if you, if you don't know. What, Tina? If you don't know, can you guys click, keep um, the Port of Baltimore, which isn't. Keep prayer prayers for the Port of Baltimore here. Uh, a ship knocked down a bridge uh, carrying a bunch of cargo and container. It's a container ship. If you have not heard that, uh, yeah, pray that for the morning. people, pray for the workers, pray for the incident and the truth of what happened to be revealed. Yeah, and I heard uh, there was a bunch of cars on the bridge too, so... Terrible, 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 terrible. Anyhow, we live in a town that um, has a bridge. But, you coming. know, you were talking, you know. Mm -hmm. We live in a town that has a bridge coming into it. Um, and they shut one down of the our seats that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is sad. Definitely sad. Yeah, I think you're a little bit, a little bit glitchy or behind or something. Because I like so some of the seeds that you mentioned. Uh huh. Who me? Yeah, yeah, I think it's because everybody's on the internet today. Yeah, um, that's maybe. and it should be for the internet we have. Like it shouldn't be there. So, what were you saying about the seeds so, I was mentioning? I won't interfere. I'm going to sign off. I don't want to be up there glitching. Uh, hold on. Okay. What were you saying about the seeds? I got? One of the, the um, I use the same seeds. Some I'm not going to mention, but you had mentioned one of those seeds and they're not germinating properly for me at all. I'm disappointed in the seeds for the first time that I've ever ordered from them. Um, so as I've said, whether the soil that I've used it in or you know the mix if I've done something but not a big not a big fan of them right now <laughs> yeah so I, knew. I was disappointed I know yeah I know what you're talking about now I remember I remember you mentioning them before 
But yes, uh, my husband did tell me about what happened with the bread. It's okay. Morning. Um, don't know where he heard it from, but he he just came in and told me I was just sitting on the couch trying to wake up, drinking my coffee, and one of the cats was sitting next to me. Yeah. Um, the peppers. Uh, I'll probably just try the paper towel. I'll probably just try a little, a little bit. I'll see how many peppers there are, and I'll pick one or two you know, and save the rest for next year. Yeah. But I'm really, I'm you know what, Joe, I, I know peppers usually take a longer. Yeah. It's almost too late to start peppers I mean, as long as they take, but yeah, I mean, maybe it's not, but you know, um, I'm most excited about the giant pumpkin seeds and also uh, the banana squash. I'm curious about that. And the long, the long gourd. I just like growing cool things like that. I know you can't eat them, but I like putting pretty pumpkins and gourds on my front porch. And my neighbors know that if it's on my front porch now, that more than likely I've grown it myself. So they're like, yeah, I saw some pumpkins on your front porch kind of early. I was like, yeah, that's just when they came out. I don't know. But I'm gonna. I'm trying to hold myself off to plant yeah. the giant pumpkins until like uh, May, I think. May or early June, because I don't want them to to, uh, to come out too early. But I might do mid-May, like May around. Well, when I get back from the meetup, from the Ozark meetup. Yeah, that's awesome. Catherine. I transplanted pepperoncini peppers um, to the tire a couple of days ago, and they seem okay so far. Um, I'm thinking about getting out my banana water and putting a little banana water on them, and maybe on my uh, elderberry cuttings and my cayenne peppers. Just things that I that are up out of the ground already. So, <clears throat> sorry, you're having trouble. Yeah, I am. Um, um, I was going to tell yeah, you maybe. something about, I was going to tell you something oh. about StreamYard. Are you there? Uh, when you're on StreamYard. Yeah, it's just really glitchy. So I don't. If you're, if you're on StreamYard, and, and you want to go away for a second, you can hit stop cam and it'll just put up your logo like that. And then right next to stop cam is mute. I always forget that. If you go away, you can stop cam and mute yourself to where you can walk away and go do something. But there's still something up there instead of going in and out. So... That's an option. Yeah, I know. I'm, Mine doesn't I, I have my logo. It has a picture of me. I don't know why, but it it doesn't have my logo. It has a picture of me, and I don't know how to change it. But anyway, it's me. It's me. So anyway, I just yeah, thought I'd mention good. that to you. <laughs> I noticed. I, um, I noticed when you go out, you click no, yourself thank out. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, let me remind her about that. Yeah, I don't know how many of the peppers I'll start. See, I'm, I might try the Sugar Rush peach peppers just because I've always heard of them and I just want to see what they're like. But I'm not a huge hot pepper person. I don't know. So. I want to try those. Yeah, I don't know how many's in that one, but I know I need to do the video today before I plant anything out of there. But I'll probably get, end up planting that... Um, that banana squash, I'll probably end up planting that today. Because I like squash. Is it stressing you out? I have a headache. Oh, sorry. I know I have a headache. Oh. Hello, Bufferly Mom. Yeah. Welcome in. Yeah. Well, you don't have not to yet. say if you don't want to. If you want to, yes. But if, if not, you know. I just wanted to tell you that before you left. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I think. 
So no, I think I th thank you for that. I am I think because of the glitching, it's just it's hard to keep up with the conversation, and it's yeah. sounds like I'm always interrupting you, and I don't want to. So I think I'm gonna sign off and um, get something for my headache and eat okay. some breakfast. Maybe that may help you. Me. So. <laughs> but okay. yeah, maybe I'll click back on if I see you back on. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Tina, for coming up. Yep, no problem. Okay, there she goes. All right. All right. She's having a hard time with her internet and it's kind of stressing her out. Yep. Anyway, so that's it. I'm probably going to plant some uh, ba basil today. Um, my Mariana tomatoes are up from the survival seed challenge. Hello, sis. How are you? So I'm thinking about putting some purple basil in there with them. And uh, yeah, now that I have all these seeds, I've got to figure out where to put some of them. I'm not going to be able to get all of them in the ground, obviously. Um, but I'll try to get some of them in the ground at least. So there's that. I have to look up some of these seeds and see what they look like. I might look up all the peppers and, you know, pick one or two specific ones. Uh, thank you, sis. Much appreciated. So just waiting for it to warm up a little bit outside, and then I'm probably going to go throw some seeds in the ground. I know for sure I want to do my basil, and I want to try to do those new squash seeds I just received in the mail and then I'm just going to do an assessment sit down and figure out which seeds I'm going to plant and there's no way I'd be able to plant all those giant pumpkins I would have to till a whole field for that and then it would be hard to keep up with the weeding <laughs> I had made three areas for pumpkins three planting areas because I had those seeds from in my gardener so I'm just going to hang on to those seeds for next year and use the ones that Brian sent <clears throat> because he'll be more curious about if I was able to grow them. And I'm, you know, I have no idea. I can grow regular pumpkins, but giant pumpkins, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, I have. I have no idea. I have, I have an idea where I could put some of them. Um, and because I'm not going to plant them till mid, mid May to June, because you don't want your pumpkins ready too early because then your neighbors are looking at you crazy because you got pumpkins and gourds on your porch in the summer. But, <laughs> um, but anyway, I, I, I thought of another area. So I'm going to see how many different kinds of giant pumpkins there are and uh, maybe try to grow one of each and then see how long it takes for them to pop up out of the ground. And if they don't put another seed in there, you know, until one of them germinates. Um, I could even go a little bit more over extreme than that. And I could take one of the pumpkins, giant pumpkin seeds and use the paper towel method to get them sprouted when I'm ready to do it. So I might do that because the, I've had good luck with the paper towel method this year. Okay. That's fine, Tina. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. There was some melons in there too that he, that he put in there. So I had just planted my wild garden a couple of days ago. Uh, so I'm going to wait to see where everything pops up because I kind of planted sections. I'm going to wait to see where everything pops up and I'm going to look for an available space and where I can find the biggest available space. I'll put my melons there and then I'll save some for next year. But I want to get at least two of those melons seeds in there but I'm gonna wait till things start popping up because I've already had 
um, you know how I leave the pumpkins out there from the year before, I already have about six up in one area and another five, four or five in another area. So the wild garden is already booming. It's already booming out there. So, and luckily it did not dip below freezing, uh, but we did get to about 36. Um, my zucchini, I have about four out of eight up. So I probably will more than likely have to replant my zucchini, some of it, because some of it didn't come up. Now it could be who knows what, <laughs> but, uh, that's how I am. If a seed doesn't pop up within what I think is the right amount of time, I will throw another seed in there and just, you know, make sure, make sure I get something there. My tomatillas um, are coming up very slow. I had one of them come up and now I can't find it. So now I'm wondering if a bird worm or something got to the seed because, or the little tiny you know, sprout that was popping out of the ground because I no longer can see that. So I had planted four tomatillas, two in one area and two in another area. <coughs> and the one that had just sprouted up is gone. Hmm. My link to Amazon didn't work. Okay. Well, I do have an Amazon wish list. Um, one of the one of the uh, donations I received was from the Amazon wish list. Um, let me look real quick. Let's see. But yeah, I made an Amazon wish list for the homeless. Um, let me see. Let me go in here and try to link it. Yeah. I'm going to add some more areas. Now that I know I have more seeds, I'm going to add some more areas. But I don't want to get, I don't want to do the whole entire backyard. <laughs> huh. I can barely keep up with what I have. Uh, if I add too much, I won't be able to keep, keep up with it. So, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to try to see if I can, your list. So I have one set up for the homeless. Let me view and edit. Click. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the I'm going to add the Amazon wish list link into the description box of this live. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Amazon wish list. Oops. See. Okay. All right. So I went ahead and added <clears throat> the Amazon wish list for the homeless in the description box of this live. So maybe try that link and see how that works and let me know. But if you need a better link or something, you can email me at gilssouthernliving at yahoo.com and I can try to send you a different link or try again. Sometimes when you get in a hurry, you mess stuff up. So, yep. Let's see, banners. Oh, here we go. There you go. There's my email. If you want to email me a question or if you want me to send the link directly to your email, I can do that. So, yep, just going to do a little planting today. Go out, feed the chickens. Hello, Paula and Jason at PJ's Homestead Adventure. How are you? Thank you guys for coming in. I appreciate all of you. Thank you to those watching in the replay. 
like I said, I had made up three areas in my yard for the giant pumpkins. So now I need to add some, some to that so that I can try to get some of these, some more of these seeds in the ground that I was sent. Unfortunately, I can't plant all of them. So some of them will get saved for next year. So I'm going to have to be selective and just plant. But I was excited to get the um, envelope full of seeds. I know all of these are home safe seeds. And I know that they're really good quality seeds because this guy grows giant pumpkins like for contest. So I know he's he's really good at it. So that's awesome. So I'm thinking about doing a pajama party for the ladies on Friday night after Jen's live. Uh, I think after I finish this live today, I'll go ahead and set that up. So if Jan goes for an hour, it'll be right after that. If she goes for two hours, it'll be right after that. So whenever Jan ends, the live will begin. I don't know what her intent is to go live for an hour or two hours. It's one, one week it's one way and one week it's another way. So <clears throat> more than likely it'll be an hour. I might just set it up for 7, 7 p.m. Central Time. And I'm going to try to do like a little, um, what do you call it? Little short marathon, you know, like, like a four or five hours. People can come in and come and go as they please. So if you receive a link from me, um, if you receive a link from me, it'll be for that probably. I'll try to put the date on it so you won't be confused. But if you're interested in joining in with that, uh, send me an email and I'll try to get you a link to that. So who knows what we'll be doing on that live. But my hours, I'm at 1428. So I'm almost at the halfway point because the monetization, the first level of monetization is 3K watch hours and I'm at 1428. So I'm getting close to the midway point. For that so that would be nice to be able to monetize the channel for the ministry um like that amazon order we did last week or whatever week we did that um with that money that was donated like those kinds of amazon orders could happen every few months and we could keep up on all of our toiletries that we need and and then we could also use it for food. Um, when we do the street people, she usually does six bags and I do six bags. So it ends up being 12 people. But when we do the, the Salvation Army, where the homeless people stay in Abilene, there's actually, we did 32 bags one time. And there were literally, we had to turn down five or six people, which is awful having to turn them down for the food bags and toiletry bags. It's terrible to have to turn them down because you know, you know, they, okay, the ones stay in there, they get to stay there for one month and they, they get their breakfast and dinner. So they have to do lunch on their own. A lot of the items we get are kind of like lunch items. We get like raviolis and tuna canned chicken or Vienna sausages, uh, like a meat item, and then usually a sleeve of saltine crackers, some kind of a fruit, uh, you know, some little snacky doos in there, little packages of snacks, um, cup of soup, stuff like that. We also usually put a bowl and some plastic silverware in there. Um, and they can go to the um, convenience store and heat up items we were told and my mom actually went out with uh with her friend charlotte and they did the ministry last weekend without me so which is fine i love that i mean it's good that it can keep going so my mom actually gives out bags all the time because you know she's in a bigger town and she sees them me i don't really see them because i'm in a small town occasionally you might accidentally run into someone 
walking down the street with a backpack and you know they're traveling through town from one town to another, you know. Um, and I did actually get to help two two people that were traveling through. I happened to have clothes in my trunk so I could give them clothes and a blanket and some food that was in my car. And then another time I actually had a bag with me and gave it to them. So you got to be constantly prepared for these people because you don't know when you're going to run into them. But yeah, um, we ordered that 100 toothbrushes for 20 bucks. And they come in little packages like this. And then you have to like cut them apart or remove them carefully. And I've used the toothbrush. It's not too bad. I mean, it, it's not going to last forever or anything. It's not like real, real sturdy, but it's not bad. You know, I try to use one of the item myself to see if it's of decent quality, you know. And uh, like we had ordered these hairbrushes for the homeless that had these little holes in the handle. And I was like, mm, I don't know. So when we, the very first time we ordered them, we ordered like a lavender color and I pulled one out and started using it. I'm like, if I can use it with my long hair, they can totally use it. So, um, so we continue to order uh, that style of hairbrush for them. So if I can use it with my long, long hair, they can totally use it. So, and I'm still, still use that hairbrush sometimes. I, <laughs> I have that in the main bathroom. So if I want to brush my hair in there, I leave that little brush in there. And then I have a nicer brush in the other room that I use. But uh, yeah, women, we have hairbrushes everywhere. My mom said, um, when all of us kids were at home, there was three girls and a boy. And the boy was the youngest. I was the second oldest. Um, we always had a hard time finding brushes in the house. And uh, I'd just be walking around looking for a brush. <laughs> you know, six people in the house. You don't know who took it. Mom, dad, one of the kids. And my mom, she'd go go through all of our names, including the dog's name when she was calling us because she couldn't figure out which one she was talking to. <clears throat> which one was she yelling at at that particular moment? <clears throat> but I was a pretty, I would say I was a pretty good kid, a pretty quiet kid, shy kid, just kind of muddled around by myself usually. Um, hello, Maritza's Yarn and Crafts. Welcome in. And, um, I would just sit there and cut paper and draw pictures and color, you know, really, really very normal, um, quiet activities. I wasn't really much of a reader back then. I wish I had been. I, I actually like to read more now that I'm older. Um, one of my Amazon orders I did this year, I actually ordered a couple of books to read. I haven't got around to reading them yet. Uh, probably going to end up reading them like in the fall or winter when it's not gardening season. But yeah, I have a couple of books that, a couple of new books to read. <coughs> So, and usually when I read a book, I hang on to it and I wait a year, a couple of years and then I'll read it again. So I've been through, you know, I like what people would probably consider boring books, <laughs> um, like The Little House on the Prairie, Anne of Green Gables, uh, you know, old fashioned stuff, nothing scary. I do like watching thrillers on TV, you know, that's not bloody, gory guts kind of stuff, but just kind of like scares you, spooks you a little bit, that kind of stuff. But we watch a lot of like um, Hell's Kitchen, like cop shows, um, unsolved mysteries, you know, like uh, forensic type shows. Stuff like that. We watch a lot of that together. Survival shows. That's what hubby and I usually watch. <clears throat> Let's see. One of my favorite shows I'm watching right now is called 
I'm watching on the Roku channel. It's called The Way Home. And it's like a sci-fi. It's really good. It's like it's like about time travel. It's really good. It's not like um it's not full of, you know, disgusting things. It's just um you know, it's not it's not like of of bad moral character. It's, you know, I try to watch things that don't you know, that aren't really terribly bad. <laughs> I try. It's very hard to find those things nowadays, but I try. <clears throat> There's a couple of movies out that I want to watch. I'm trying to remember what the names of them were. There's been a few things come out lately, and I'm like, ooh, i got to go watch that. We did watch the, um, the newest version of Willy Wonka. The version of Willy Wonka where Willy, when Willy Wonka was a kid, the newest version is the story before the story. And um, I thought it was good. I thought it was a good show. We, um, we did that thing where you rent it off of your TV and then you can continue to, you can watch it again. So we need to invite somebody over to watch it with us so we can watch it again or just watch it again. But yeah, it's good. It's a good show. I found it entertaining. But yeah, uh, let's see. What, what books did I pick out? I picked out uh, Little Women and Jane Eyre. I had never, never read those books before. And they were recommended to me from people who knew what kinds of books I liked. And I cannot remember at all who recommended those books, but I put them on my Amazon wish list. And Hubby and the stepdaughters, they didn't order them for me for Christmas. So um, I got some money at the beginning of the year and I said, OK, I'm going to go ahead and order my books, even though I haven't read them yet. But I'm going to try to read them in the fall, probably. I'm not going to push myself to try to read them right now. But yeah, in the fall. Winter when it starts getting cold outside. Yeah. I had heard about Little Women for years. So. I kind of like things in that time period. So if you know of anything, let me know. Oh, and I did have a, an idea for a short story. So when I get that written... Um, I may try to get it published at some little small publishing place and I'll probably end up reading it on one of my two channels and, um, yeah, it actually has a topic. Um, I may end up reading it on both channels, but anyway, it sort of came to me in a dream. Uh, and I woke up and started putting the pieces together and I actually started writing in my spiral, the ideas so I could remember them. And I have like the names and base, the basic setting and, and, and plot of the story. <clears throat> I don't at all have, um, the intended ending of that. Um, my stepdaughter is really good with reading and writing stuff. So she's going to be like my editor. So I'm going to kind of write it and it's going to probably be a little bit boring. And she's going to try to help me up my game a little bit and make it better, you know. And uh, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But I told her and my husband the basic premise of the story. So, um, yeah, we're going to do that. But it actually fits with the topic from this channel. So if that gives you a little bit of a clue. <laughs> yeah, I've got a little bit of a headache thing going on back here too. My sinuses have been really, really, really bad. Probably going to get off here in about a minute um, and see if it's warm enough to go out and possibly plant my basil that I have. And pollen season. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been spending a lot of time outside and some of the stuff I'm allergic to is outside. So, you know, 
but yeah, Friday night, Friday night, I'm considering doing a pajama party. Um, I will go ahead and do my, my live on Friday, right after literature and more with Kathleen at 1030. That's my regular live time. And even though I'm adding the other one, I'm still going to go ahead and I still plan to go ahead and do that one. But yeah, I thought about inviting, just inviting some friends over. We're actually going to my mom's to celebrate Easter on Saturday instead of Sunday. That way, um, we can still go to church on Sunday. And then on the next week, we're going to go celebrate Easter with my sister, my younger sister and the family. So we're going to actually have an Easter celebration a couple weeks in a row. So that's cool. I'm good with that. And I'm going to make some green bean casserole. That's what we're, that, that's what I'm making. And, um, mom's going to make a cherry pie. So, <clears throat> I need to go to the store and get like some whipped cream or some uh, vanilla ice cream or something to go with that cherry pie. That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Make sure she's got some whipped cream to go with that. Sounds good to me. Thank you guys for coming in. I appreciate all of you coming in and spend some time with me. Thank you guys who watch this in the replay when you're hearing this later. Thank you so much for watching the replay and um, helping me to get those watch hours up. I do know that you guys are helping me out because I see those numbers increasing every day. Every morning when I wake up and look at that number, um, it's been steadily increasing. So I definitely appreciate that. And I'm so happy to that it's looking very positive that this channel may get monetized for the ministry. And I'm really happy about that. And that is nothing I have done. It is all blessings from the Lord for his, for his work, for his ministry. And I want to continue to be the hands and feet of God and try to always be a positive influence on YouTube and, and uh, try to inspire people to go out there and load up, load up one bag of food. If you live in a big city and just go hand it out to someone, give it to the person, the person with the standing there on the street with that sign, they're asking for help. And in the Bible, we're supposed to, to come to the aid of those asking for help. We're not supposed to turn anyone down. We're supposed to always help them. So um, I, I hope I can inspire someone one per, even one person to fill up a bag and go find somebody to give it to. Give it to the person with the sign, the person laying down on the pavement, the hot pavement. Just hand a bag of food to someone, some ready-to-eat food that they can either heat up or eat right out of the box. And just go give them something and just, just help one person today. Give that one person hope. The undesirable person... Um, was also made by God and they, they need some hope. So let's offer one person some hope today and just please, uh, I hope that I can inspire one person. And if you hear this and you do that, please let me know that you handed out a bag of food. Uh, you know, so I'll know I inspired someone because I really want for this ministry to continue and to be in all the states, not just in Texas. So you guys have a great day and go with God. Bye, everybody.